all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about an array free pre-order traversal its index is 429 and it is categorized as medium type problem the lead code okay and this problem is really an interesting problem so the concept behind or you can say that this is not a actual binary tree it is an array tree that is for every node there exists like at most n child nodes okay so let's move further to the problem statement to understand this problem in detail first given a, an array tree return the level order traversal of its nodes values okay we need to return the level order traversal of the given binary tree and where the arrays uh, must contain the nodes values okay so if you are not aware about the concept of level order traversal i'm going to explain it out in detail for now you have to be patient okay so let's move further first an array tree input serialization is represented in their level order traversal. Each group of children is separated by the null value. Okay, I don't know what this means, but what I am understanding this problem is like for every node, there can exist at most n child nodes. Also, uh, the child nodes can be like uh, we can get the child nodes for a particular node, uh, like it has uh, some function. So let us uh, do this one first. Let me think. Yeah, you can see. So this is basically a vector node children. You can see a class node is being formed. And for like uh, if we make an object of this class node, which is actually a node, it has following properties like uh, this particular node has the value. And also is, this particular has node a vector node of children. That is it holds the like uh, what are the children's of this node and it is being represented by a vector okay so it is going to help us to find out all those children's okay so what we are going to do over here okay so let's understand this problem first like what is the level order traversal and then we are going to uh, move further for the best solution so let me just have a look over the constraints you can see an editor is less than or equal to 100 like height of this this is less than equal to 100 yeah fine total number of nodes is like 0 to 10 power 4 so we'll be thinking for o of n solution okay and also let's hover over to the similar question section you can see your uh, n array tree pre-order traversal this is categorized as uh, like easy type okay so if you want to do this problem then you can okay so let us move over to this one like uh, an array tree pre-order traversal in this case also we have been every like every node has at most n children which is going to be represented by this one and also what we have to do is like uh, we have to find out the pre-order traversal of this tree so if you are stuck upon this one then you can move out to the channel and uh, okay so, so what is the way to do that okay so what I'm going to do is like search over this one and array tree reorder traversal. Okay. So if you search on the YouTube, you will find my video over here where I will, where I've explained in a like detailed manner how to solve this problem. This is actually the interesting one. Okay. So I will recommend to do this one also. To have a good practice over here okay so let's move further to understand this problem with the help of explanation now we will explain the best solution for this problem okay so let us have some example then what i'm going to do is like go over this one i think i should have to cut this part okay so what i am going to do is like just do crop this one and add to my current page okay so can i zoom it out yeah can I zoom it out again? Yes. I think this is clearly visible now. Okay. So what will happen is like we need to find the level order traversal of this entire tree. Then what is the best case that like what is actually the level order traversal? So this is the nodes that are present on level equal to zero. And these all are the nodes that are present on the level equal to one with respect to the root node. Also, you can understand this thing is like if you fix this root node, what find out the depths of all the nodes with respect to this root node and for a particular node like for a particular depth value like let's say a depth value equal to one what are the nodes that are having the depth val uh, depth value as this one 
so then you are going to say that all these nodes are going to lie on the same level because they are at same distance with respect to the root node okay so these all are the nodes at the level equal to 1 and these all are the nodes at the level equal to 2 okay so the level order traversal of a binary tree and ori and array binary tree is basically first you will traverse the level equal to 0 then you are at this one so you will you will have the this array then you are going to traverse for the level equal to 1 then you will have this array 3 2 4 okay the thing is like uh, i am going to do from this one 3 then 2 then 4 right uh, like uh, from left to right sequentially then for the level equal to 2 i am going to do like 5 and 6 okay so this is my answer the level order traversal for this tree okay now the thing is like uh, we can have a, like we are going to have a breadth first search approach to find out the level order traversal of this n array binary tree okay so why we are using the uh, breadth first search technique because breadth first search technique is going to perform like uh, perform the op operation in like perform the traversal in a binary tree uh, like in a level wise like it will first traverse this level then it will traverse this level and this is then it will traverse this level right so this is all we want we want the level order traversal right and breadth first search is going to do the same so we are going to use breadth first search traversal okay now the thing is like uh, many uh, person many coders is uh, like they are aware about the breadth first search technique but they will find slight difficulty while implementing so what i'm going to do is like uh, let's start with uh, okay so writing down the code is like a lazy work so let's say i'm going to explain through the code right so don't get bored okay so what i'm going to do uh, is like uh, this will be our answer okay so let me zoom it out so vector of vector int and so you can see i'm maintaining a 2d vector type okay and uh, like uh, it will always uh, store the node values for a particular level like for every index of the answer you can see that now the thing is like let me start from the root base case like if root is already null there is no binary tree right so we are going to return the answer the answer as empty now i will maintain the queue now as we all know that breadth first search traversal is like first we are going to traverse for every level starting from the root node this is going to be easily done with the help of queue so initially i am going to push up the root node into the queue and then i will traverse all the children of this node okay so how it is going to be done let's see now you can see that i have pushed out the queue like uh, push out the root into root node into the queue so suppose this is my queue okay so this is the queue so and this is the root node and root node is holding the value as one now right now okay now uh, this is done like uh, root node has uh, like there is only one node at the level like uh, okay so let me explain in a uh, different words there is only one root node for a given binary tree right so for a given depth that is the depth equal to zero there will be only one root so level or the traversal we are going to find it out for a level equal to zero there is only one node you can see i am going to push back the current vector into my answer also you can analyze this one is like there is only one node at this level so there will be only one vector like vector containing only one element at the zeroth position of your answer okay so uh, that's why i push back this value this vector right now uh, i will traverse till my queue is non-empty okay now every time i'm going to push out the topmost element of this root uh, topmost element of the queue that I am maintaining you can see that okay so not I am going to do that right now so what I am going to do is first I will find out the size of this queue okay so I will explain it out why I am going to find out the size of the queue later on because also explaining out the size of this queue right here at this position is quite uh, like you are not going to understand it right now okay so what you will do what I will explain is about just understand this i am just finding out the size and i am iterating it till my size is non-empty you can see okay so while nodes minus minus like while the size is non-empty so what it will do is it will pop out this root node 
and you can see current size of this queue is like only one okay so i will just uh, iterate exactly one time and every time i will pop out the front node from the queue you can see that there is exactly one node right now and we are just iterating exactly one times and each time i'm popping it out the front node from the queue now this node is popped out and what i am going to do is like uh, traverse through all those children of this current node you can see that this has the children this one and this has the children this one and this has the children this one okay so there are exactly three children child nodes of this current node okay a note that i have exactly iterated for one time because the queue size is exactly one so what will happen finally is you can see that for like this is for this is the for loop and what i'm going to do is like traverse through all those child nodes of the current node you can see which is the root node and i have 3 2 4 as the child node and what i'm going to do i'm going to push up the values of these nodes because these nodes values are at a level greater than uh, like a level plus 1 with respect to the current node current nodes level so suppose this nodes level is 0 then i am going to push back the all nodes values for the next level right that's why i am going to push back into the temp which is our answer for the next level okay and also i need to push back into the queue for further processing okay now the thing is like this node is popped out and now queue is empty when i am traversing the child nodes of this current nodes you can see that i am going to push back the node address let's say n1 this one and n2 this one and n3 this one then i'm going to push back n1 n2 and n3 into my queue okay now the thing is like now you are going to understand why i'm going to iterate till nodes like every time i'm going to iterate for node size like queue dot size okay so you can see that these nodes are at level equal to 1 now what i am going to do like for the next iteration traverse till uh, q dot size like uh, q dot size is 3 right now you can see that this root node is not over here now we have n1 n2 and n3 okay now again this entire sequence happens from the start of this one and again temp dot clear we need to push back the nodes values for the next level and nodes is just again q dot size now the thing is like uh, there are Uh, like uh, you can see that if i will come up uh, come up over n1 i have these two nodes for the next level also i need to come up for this one also suppose there are child nodes of this node node with value 2 i have three child nodes okay and again suppose this one has some child nodes i need to traverse for all those n1 n2 and n3 which are at level equal to 1 then and then only we are going to get all those nodes for that are present at level equal to 2 okay that's why i'm going to iterate till every time that's why i'm going to iterate till q dot size is 0 that is nodes is this uh, nodes value is going to still uh, will be positive so that we will will be getting the all those nodes values for the next level right okay and after all this has been done that is we have uh, we have been reached for all those leaf nodes and there are no more nodes there might be the case like temp is empty you can see that uh, uh, for a particular case like there may exist that we are not having the some next node in that case temp is empty we need uh, we need not to consider that also so that's why i have used the continuous statement and otherwise push back into your answer the current like for the next level nodes values and finally return the answer So let's submit this code and check it out if it is working fine or not. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it is good. So like first I've submitted. What's its runtime? It's 20 ms. Okay. Yeah. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And uh, I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video, and to subscribe to a YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.